Hello, welcome back to another video here in sunny central Portugal. We still have not had any rain. I think we've had one day of rain in January, which is just crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it. The land really needs it, but this weather is just really beautiful to be in. We're both feeling so much better, both testing negative now, which is really great because my mum is here. She was supposed to come on Friday, um, but because we were still testing positive, um, her and her husband took a slower drive down from Spain. So I think they had a good little adventure, but they're here now. We saw them yesterday uh, and they're coming here today. So we're going to put them to work, <laughs> as is with all our guests. Um, our project we really want to get done is I will take you over here um, we are really wanting to get some chickens um, I think it's time <laughs> so we're trying to make it all with things that we already have uh, obviously we need to make sure it's really secure so we'll see how well that goes because we'll get stuff if we need it but um, we've got loads of pallets we're going to sit them up on some breeze blocks and then we've got this old uh, tin for the roof um, and then we've got some shade cloth we're going to use to create enough um, what's it called ventilation we've got a stick to use for the to roost on uh, the only thing we might not have is something to make roosting boxes for them not roosting nesting nesting boxes for them um, but yeah this will be the project of the day So my mum bought um, a load of stuff over for us, including this t-shirt from my granny. Um, so we just need to make this bit true now. <laughs> um, so we're thinking the chicken coop here under this tree so they get some shade in the summer from the big trees. See how that goes. Um, yeah, we don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> Done a little bit of research about what they need. Um, so yeah, we can move it if it doesn't work here. And then we're going to build them a small pen so that they can be out and about. So warm. Close enough for mm, more. It looks good.
it's a rather overcast day here for once. <laughs> it's quite unusual not to have a blue sky. Um, so hopefully that's a sign that rain is on the way. The forecast has kept saying it might rain today, but I don't believe it. <laughs> um, but I'll show you where we got up to with the chicken coop. So we've just been out to buy the fence posts so we can make them a little pen. Um, and then we need to finish up cladding all of this. Um, we put the shade cloth on to cover the gap here in the roof, um, but we need to put more cladding on the side to make sure they don't get cold. Um, and we put the little roost in for them. I think we might need to put another one in. We'll see. We might go and get them today if we get all this finished. Um, but we have just had a thought about whether <laughs> we actually want to move them which is a bit of a pain because it means undoing everything and moving the breeze blocks but there was a dog here this morning this is the back woodlands um, we know the neighbour, they are living here as well so I don't think we get too many wild animals because there's a lot of people about um, but it is definitely where a predator would come from so it's just whether it is a bit close to that area obviously they'd be fenced in but it's kind of one of the inevitable aspects of having chickens so the other place we have thought of was down here because I think it's important that they have a shade so that's why we chose here because it's underneath the cool coke so in the summer they're gonna hopefully get enough shade I mean we might have to move them anyway because we need to see what the summer will be like for them but the other place I had thought was here um, because there's a lot of shade here as well so under this olive and uh, quince here could be a better spot for them it's out in the open um more which i think is good because we can keep an eye on them better from the house and there's a lot of open space around it that would hopefully put off a predator a little bit more because it's all open here so maybe it does make sense to move them the only other place we had thought was this uh top well but again, I kind of feel like it's a bit bit far away from the house and a bit hidden that it's harder for us to keep an eye for any predators. Um, but there's a lot of lovely shade up here, which is why we thought it would be good and it would be really nice to let them run out and about here. So, hmm, we're trying to decide <laughs> whether it does just make sense to move them. I think we have a plan. <laughs> uh, we've decided we're going to keep them where we've put them but we do have down by the boundary that we started putting in three really tall fence posts so we're going to put them along the back bit where it's next to the wall and um, yeah just try and make, make the edge super secure there and hopefully oh tripping over our cut up vines um, yeah, hopefully that's going to be good enough. Let us know if you think we're making <laughs> the wrong decision. Um, but yeah, I think I think this should work. This is very tall, so we'll just make it. And it's good because it secures the boundary at the top better as well then and, you know, can alert hunters a bit more that we're here. So I'm going to pull these up now and see what we think. Can you manage three? Yeah. So should we just do a provisional for now? Yeah, and I think we need to dig the fencing in a little bit to make sure the mongoose don't get in. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And then we'll line it with stones at the bottom there. Yeah. So we actually had six of the taller posts. Nice. And we bought a pole smasher today.
This is um, our old bed from the van that we took out. So I'm using the front of that to secure the front so that it's uh, a bit safer this side. Um, using all old bits of MDF from the cabin build so that they're not going to waste I hope the chickens don't mind living in a higgledy piggledy house. But the main thing is to make sure it's, you know, secure and warm and comfortable and dry. It doesn't have to be beautiful. <laughs> but I would like it to not be too ugly. So it could be a bit of an eyesore. So maybe we'll eventually paint it or, or clad it with a nicer wood or something. Or maybe it will just be a terrible chicken coop and we'll start again. <laughs> But for now, this is this is what we've got. So we're stopping for a tea break, but I thought I'd show you what we've got going on. So I'd put on um, this uh, gate latch, but it was sticking out this side. And then Yuan came up with the clever idea to put this on to give it some extra security. I mean, I don't think anything would have got in, but it's good to be safe. I might put a piece of wood here to seal this as well. Um, but then we do need ventilation too. 
so I don't want to seal up too much just enough gaps to make it secure and then we'll fill the floor with sawdust for them um, and we've attached the um, roost now there's a few screws that we need to use the angle grinder to fix but because the generator is currently not working we can't use it um, and then we've just got a gap at the back I need to fix some fencing to um, actually I think I'll put a few pieces of wood because you want to make sure that there's no draft for where they're roosting but you want enough ventilation at the top so I think maybe a couple of these planks along the back and then the netting at the top but I think it's very cute and we've literally not had to buy anything apart from the gate latch because we had the old tin roof that was um, on the side of the lean-to um, which is this the shade cloth is from summer I mean we will need in the summer so we will have to buy more then um, all the MDF is left over from the cabin build and was just going to waste I mean we've just been saying I don't think we'll ever work with MDF again it's just too soft OSB is the way to go um, my mum had this feeder and waterer at hers, so she's just brought that from Wales. And then we have bought the fence posts and the netting. Don't worry, we are going to be double layering this, so no, this is way too low for a chicken. We may even triple layer it, depending how much we've got. Definitely at the back we're going to do three layers of it. But yeah, it's coming together. We might eventually use some of the old tiles for the roof. To make it look nicer and give it better insulation too because the tin will get hot in the summer but yeah i'm pretty happy with that and just how little it's cost us because so the fencing we've bought it is plastic so i'm a bit worried about how long it will last over the summer i'm guessing it's going to be uv protected but um yeah that was one euro 20 a meter so we've got 20 meters of that and then the fence posts were two euro eighty each and we bought ten. And then we have used some of the taller ones that we'd previously got. Uh, we had all the screws and everything already, so there we go. Hope they'll like it under the mimosa tree. The mimosa's all coming out. Well it's actually acacia, but it's known as mimosa, but beautiful. Frankie's digging as always. And then we're going to, um, ooh, spiked by vines, we're going to dig this into the ground a bit and then line with stones. Um, whether we might need to do something a bit stronger along here to stop anything that might dig underneath. But hopefully we might have time to go get the chickens today. No, it's definitely time for a cup of tea. So this is where we got to with the fencing Yuan's cable tied the gap so that's worked quite well um, but we've run out and we actually want to put higher fencing along the back anyway so we'll need to go get them when we go get the chickens but we've decided we'll we'll wait and not rush because we don't want to put them in for their first night and it not be secure <laughs> disaster so um gonna make mum do some gardening with me instead. 
Yeah, in the veggie garden. Yes, let's go to the veggie garden. <laughs>